which was chaired by the NASA leader Raila Molodinga, we were basically discussing one agenda, agenda of the President's memorandum and the possible proposals on a supplementary budget estimate that is likely, the two documents are likely to be tabled in Parliament this afternoon. We have discussed, because the present memorandum has not been made public, but in terms of communication on the floor of the House, but already the contents of the same are known to us, and we have discussed as a party and taken a position as coalition of NASA. And therefore that position that we have taken will be supported by NASA coalition on the floor of the Parliament this afternoon, but more particularly on Thursday when the debates will come up. I want to ask the, our whip, chief whip of NASA to re read our resolutions and then I will close. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, uh, the Minority Leader. This is the statement by the NASA Parliamentary Group on Taxation Measures. The Parliamentary Group of the National Super Alliance meeting today under the chairmanship of party <coughs> leader Right Honorable Raila Odinga resolved as follows. One, that NASA recognizes and appreciates the precarious situation the country is in with regard to meeting its development needs through the budget. Two, the party further recognizes, the coalition further recognizes the suffering Kenyans are going through as they feel the pinch of rising cost of living that has been worsened by taxation measures adopted by the government. Three, that the pinch and resulting from taxation run hand in hand with the people's expectation for improved services and accelerated development in critical areas like roads, schools, hospitals, electricity and housing, among others. Four, in light of the need to address the suffering of the people, while ensuring development is also delivered. We recognize and appreciate that there was a bilateral support for our attempt to lower, to remove VAT altogether, and the President was able to meet us halfway, lowering the tax from 16% to 8%. Therefore, NASA offers its conditional support for the initiative to cut VAT from the initial 16% to 8%. Five, we see that cut, the cut being in line with our earlier attempt in the National Assembly we have the, uh, to have the VAT scrapped altogether. Six, our support is however conditional. We offer support for the VAT for a period of one year. Seven, NASA is making certain key proposals. If the government makes a genuine effort to implement the, those proposals, we will agree to sit down and negotiate the extension of VAT for another year if that will still be necessary. Eight, NASA believes that if these proposals are implemented, there will be no need for extension of VAT beyond one year. Nine, however, if nothing is done on, those, on these proposals, NASA will remove a motion in the next budget to scrap VAT on fuel entirely like it did this time. Our proposals are as follows. One, during this one year, we would like to see genuine austerity measures across the board. These austerity measures must include a elimination of, ex of extra uh, extravagance, all public expenditure should be co economical and be sensitive about the harsh financial times. We don't want to hear of people traveling first class on public funds because of medical conditions. B. Elimination of waste. We must now make a genuine attempt at eliminating waste in government. There are too many practices and purchases that are wasteful because they are necessary or duplicative and often simply egoistic. We want to see families across the country. We want, we want to see the government live with, within its means. The government has to do what Kenyan families across the country are doing, which is to cut what we can't afford. For instance, the current situation where virtually every cabinet secretary and senior officers of the state travels in fuel gaslers, complete with chess cars and lead cars, is not sustainable and is not in tune with the economic situation the country is in. It must end with immediate effect and help the country save money. Completion of parastatal reforms. 
The government committed to reform parastatals by eliminating unnecessary ones and merging others. This should be completed as soon as possible. The government must tame its appetite for, be, for big borrowing. We are borrowing far too much at very oppressive terms. We must freeze any further borrowing, take stock of what we are, how sustainable the current borrowing is, and resume borrowing on a more sustainable uh, premise. The government must also tame its ambition of infrastructural projects. There are too many projects being launched left, right, and center. We need to have less, in, we, we need to have less on these projects and come up with more social welfare projects that affect the people more directly in their lives. We need the government to, in, to unveil a clear plan that will lead to new jobs for the unemployed and cut taxes for small businesses. As a coalition, we will support such a plan when brought to Parliament. The government must present to the country a clear plan to review and reform our banking sector to ensure it is in line with the war on corruption and money laundering. The government must put, must, uh, the government must put more effort in the anti-corruption drive with a clear program for riding the country of this menace and a clear end game. Specifically, NASA wants to see more speed in the investigation of cases and in the approval of indictments. There is a clear slowdown of the fight. We want to see it multiplied tenfold. Prosecution needs to begin and we expect that there will be convictions. We recommend the creation of a special anti-corruption court or enhance it if it is there to deal with the corruption with the same, with the same vigor manifested by the DPP and the DCI. Those courts should preferably operate round the clock if need be. The government should appeal for help that will aid rapid prosecution, especially from Commonwealth jurisdiction, jurisdictions. There is yet no definite program to recover stolen funds. Those funds run in the billions and will easily fill the hole in our budget and finance a number of our development needs. Switzerland and the United Kingdom have offered to, repat to repatriate corruption proceeds in their country. We need to see serious efforts by the government to follow those offers. The government must also rope in more countries where our stolen money is touched and ensure those monies are repatriated. We are strongly opposed to the current situation where Kenyans have to go back to their pockets to, m to meet our development needs while lords of corruption continue to enjoy its proceeds without breaking any sweat. The lords of corruption got, in got us into this mess in the first place and we must recover our money from them and plug these budgetary gaps. We want to see as well thought out, a well thought out and effective multi-agency asset recovery initiative. The government must initiate major tax reforms which must include overhauling the management of KRA and the Kenya Bureau of Standards. The current KRA and CAPS have, show, have shown no capacity to be imaginative on how to widen the tax bracket, how to net tax defaulters, and how to stop dumping of goods into, the, in, into our country. Indeed, KRA and CAPS officers are being reported daily as some of the most corrupt public servants. It is time to carry out a radical surgery at KRA and CAPS. It is also time to engage Kenyans into conversation about the reform of the tax system. Thank you. And that is the end of the statement. I will now demote the whip a bit. If you have questions. Are there questions? Yes. Amemo. He suggested to Parliament sneak in an amendment where he got in this 8% VAT. It's like executive is legislating for Parliament. Why have you accepted the executive position in this particular matter? So can I answer that quickly? First of all, you need to know the legislative process in this country. Mm. It starts from the executive, comes to Parliament, it goes to committees, it comes back to the plenary, it is passed, and the President assents or refers back the bill to parliament. So before the bill becomes an act of parliament, the legislative process is not concluded. So the president is part of the legislative of uh, this country, process of the country. So 
why probably what you wanted to ask is why NASA has accepted the president's approval. And we have said this, and I want to make it very clear, that this is after serious consultations. We have even engaged the minds of our experts. We have uh, professionals have put their heads together, and we have allowed our members also to express themselves. But in the end, we have also realized that the president is at, at some predicament. Why? Because we are discussing revenue-raising measures late in the day when already the budget is approved. Therefore, hence, we have given the government that space of one year as they carry out some reforms, within which time we hope things will be done properly. Finally, yes, Sam. Can you come? Yes, yes. Two things. Quickly, two things. That's why we said we would like to see genuine austerity measures. We have alive to the fact that there have been attempts at austerity measures. This PG, probably we have not captured it in our, report, in our statement, but the PG has also decided that our caucuses, the members of the finance committee and the budget committee are going to form themselves into a caucus to look at these measures that we have proposed and see the ones that can be brought before parliament in terms of legislation or in terms of proposals to cut the budget. So we are not just going to leave it to the executive uh, or, or jubilee. We are also going to, uh, uh, as NASA, to take steps. Thank you very much.